Hello, my stamping friends. This is Renee Novak at BlessedByCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and I'm here today to share with you three cards that I created using the Painted Lavender Bundle. This is a new bundle in the January mini catalog, and it is celebration time now, so if you order this set or any purchase of $50, you get a free set or a free um, pack of paper from the celebrations catalog. So hop on over to my blog at blessedbycards.com. So let's get started with our first card. I started with a gorgeous grape card base and I used in this one the perennial bundle. It's another bundle that we have. It has some wording and it has some postage dies in that bundle. So there's some great things you can check out on my blog. Again, blessedbycards.com. And what I did for this one is I just took a piece of white paper and then I stamped using the leafy and the flower. And the leaf I did in Old Olive and the flower I stamped in Orchid Oasis ink. The greeting is also in Oasis ink. And I stamped that on a separate uh, piece of cardstock and then cut that down to fit here. But on this one, it was a regular four by five and a quarter inch piece of paper. And I just kind of randomly stamped over it. And then I took these dies and I cut three of the images out so I could place them evenly on here. And that is how sweet that first card comes together. Since this is a darker cardstock, I add a piece of white on the inside. And then you can decorate however you choose. Our second card is from the Oasis cardstock and I used again the old olive the oasis and I also used the highland heather to get some different flower look and I created these bundles just by stamping on them so the highland heather is stamped full full ink and is one or several of the um oak orchid oasis and then I stamped off to have a second generation for that orchid oasis so hopefully you can see in the catalog that there's kind of three different looks here. There's the Highland Heather, the Orchid Oasis, and then the stamped off version. And then I just kind of put them close enough together so that they could be a bundle. And then I cut it, mounted it on another piece of Orchid Oasis, and then on a final layer of white. Again, on the inside, I added a piece of white and you can decorate however you want. So my last card that I created, I used again those um, bundle, the bundle. This time I used this kind of looking lavender tall, uh, almost like an English lavender. And then I stamped that on a separate piece of white cardstock and I stamped it several times in the Orchid Oasis and once in the Highland Heather. And then I added the sprigs down here, the little stems. I stamped those in shaded spruce added a little bow and then as you can see I used that some of those dies from that postage die frames that's in the perennial um, set um, and that is also available in the January uh, mini catalog. This a very big thanks is from the timeless arrangements and I added a little gem and that my friends is our third card super super sweet and super easy. So card, there's my third one, here's my second one, and the first one using, again, some of those dies from that postage die. So that's my Make It Monday, friends. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share with your friends. And until next time, be blessed.